Welcome to our lecture online. Here in this video, we're going to learn what factoring actually is. And to illustrate that, we're going to start out with two binomials. A binomial is a group of terms that have both letters called variables and numbers in them. Here there's two, an x minus four. They're separated by either positive or negative signs, subtractions or additions. So here we have x minus 4, which is called a binomial. There we have x plus 3, which is called a binomial, and they're multiplied together. When we multiply together, we get the following thing. x times x, we go use the distributive property. So we're going to multiply x times x and x times 3. This gives us x squared plus 3x. And then we multiply the minus 4 times x and plus 3. We get minus 4x, and minus 4 times a plus 3 gives me minus 12. Combining like terms, because now we have four terms here, but these are like terms because they have the same letter parts. This can now be simplified to look like x squared minus x minus 12. Here we have a trinomial. It's quadratic in nature because it has an x squared term as well as an x to the first term and simply just a constant. So this is a quadratic term. And when we ask you to factor something, they want you to take this and make it look back like this. In other words, factoring means that you take a trinomial like this and make it look like a product of two binomials. How do you do that? Well, there's various techniques, but we have some idea already when we think about it. For example, we know that it's going to look something like this. We can already put the parentheses down and somehow come up with what goes in here. First of all, we look at the first term and realize the first term simply came from multiplying the first two terms here together, which means we probably need an x here and an x there because when we go x times x, we'll get the x squared. Next, we can look at the signs and say, if I look at the last term right here, it's a negative sign. How do I get a negative number here? You can only get a negative number by multiplying a positive times a negative number because if you multiply two positives together, you get a positive result. You multiply two negatives together, you get a, well, we get a positive result again. So the only way to get a negative number here is to multiply a positive and a negative number together. So one must be positive, one must be negative. The only thing left to do is to say, I'm coming up with two numbers in such a way that when I multiply them together, I get 12. And when I add them together, I get a negative one because ultimately the middle term is simply the sum of the two numbers I'm multiplying together. So when I add these two together, negative four plus three, I get a minus one, which is what I have over there. All right, so the answer is it could be 12 times one, it could be six times two, or it could be four times three. Of course, it could be reversed. It could be three times four, or it could be 2 times 6, or it could be 1 times two, uh, 12. So one of these combinations is the right answer. All of them will give me a 12, but depending upon where I put it, I get the correct middle term. We already know, of course, that a minus 4 and a plus 3 is the right answer. So when I put a minus 4 here and a plus 3 there, so plus 3 minus 4, that means this was the correct combination to find the proper factors as we call them. So when we say factor something for me, when you take a trinomial like this and they're asking you to factor it, they want you to put it back into this form where you have the product of two binomials and you can see that there's going to be various techniques. This is kind of the guessing technique, but we'll show you some other very clever techniques to very quickly go from something that looks like this back to something that looks like this. And that's what we mean by factoring. 